Good morning. It is July the 5th of 2012. We're at Oakwood Cemetery. We're in Section 3, and we're at the grave here of Anna, Anna and it's S-C-H-O-W-R-T-H. Um, and she passed away July the 5th in 1947, so 65 years ago, if I did my math right. Um, a little after 65 years ago, or let's say 65 years and some, or just shy of, this, um, this monument was emplaced. What we see here is a large hole is opened up at the foot here, and uh, we poked a stick down in here, a yardstick, and what it appears to have happened is that uh, this one does not have a concrete vault, and the casket has collapsed over the years. And we're ending up with a large void space underneath this grave. It's kind of hard to see here, but uh, yeah, here now, we're, now you're starting to see it. You can see the concrete here that supports the headstone part. And so um, this, this uh, void space is coming up underneath this tabloid here. And so what's going to happen over time, and you can actually see it on this other one from 1929. You can see the space opening up here. We've seen this in other parts of the cemetery, where if left unattended, after the next rain, the ground will move further, and this whole piece will start to rotate down into the bottom of your screen right, and become really unlevel. Once that happens, it's almost impossible to reset it uh, due to its weight and all the rest of things. So today we have about a yard and a half, a cubic, uh, one and a half cubic yards of sand. We had uh, three yards delivered and we put half of it here. What we're going to do is we're going to start putting sand down this hole because sand is fluid and will flow and we're going to try to um, to fill the void up with sand and a little bit of water to get it pushed down in here over the, the next couple of days to, um, to stabilize the bottom of this so uh, it won't um, drop any further. Uh, we, we chose sand because it's inexpensive and uh, we won't uh, damage the remains as opposed to somebody suggested putting concrete down in there but um, that wouldn't be the, uh, the proper thing to do. So uh, these are the before photos Here's the sand, and um, we should have brought a level. We'll just come back here and look at this. You can see the father, the daughter, and then you can see the mother here, the one we're doing, Anna, is actually started to move a little bit. But we're gonna stabilize this thing, and uh, we'll take some stills and we'll see how it goes. But you can see that due to drought conditions, the ground is, is cracking out here, and so, um, if we lived in a different climate where the ground stayed moist all the time, we wouldn't have these problems. But this is Texas. Okay. Okay, um, we're in the process of filling this thing, and I was standing right here on this side, shoveling dirt over here, and my foot dropped down this hole. Uh, actually, my foot just fell in here. And you can see that it goes down quite a ways. There's a little bit of concrete here that is for this thing. But you can see that the whole bottom of this thing is just opened up. And so um, we gotta be very careful walking around the perimeter of this thing because at any point, it's just gonna fall in. Okay, we're still here at Oakwood section three and uh, you can see we've been adding dirt down in the holes and then washing it down this one here that where my foot stepped in the odd thing about this is when you put water in the hole it has a tendency to go back this direction away from the grave sink um, so because it's nice and dry outside the water is flowing the the sand into the void uh, we've got seven shovels of sand here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and water this in And I'll show you what happens. I'll 
you water it in, you'll have a, an area that will start to flow underneath. There it goes. So you can see the, the water is carrying the sand down to the void. And that's how we're doing this all the way around. Because we're adding a little sand, watering, in, watering it in, not putting too much water in it because we don't want to collapse it. And then we'll come back, wait a minute, and add some more sand. And the water carries the sand down to the void underneath here. And we keep this up. And you can see that we've, we're not quite halfway through, so we've got about three quarters of a yard of sand in here now. But this is how it's done. Okay, just an update here. Um, these two down here seem to be slowing down as far as uh, sand flowing into the, the bottom of them. This one over here, I can put seven or eight loads of sand in here and the sand continues to flow down inside. What I've come to realize by looking at this is that the headstones are most likely on undisturbed ground. We'll take some measurements for our documentation for these pieces, but the end of the grave actually probably ends up way back here. That's why we're starting to see the settling down in here. And so we don't just assume that the tabloid itself is, is covering the entire grave. Um, although it's, it's pretty good size, but you can see the foot of the grave is collapsing here. When we started walking on this side and watering, then this hole here opened up. And we're getting water flowing in this way, so we'll be adding sand on this side. Originally, we just had a little bit of crack here. We started filling this up. Now the bottom of this has opened up as well. So, again, um, this one is from 1929. This is from 1947. The other uh, difference that I'm noticing is you can see the thickness of this piece here. And then look at the thickness of this piece here. The bottom part of it is, is much thicker. Although the upper style is the same. Uh, and this had a, a, a good footing underneath it, a good concrete footing. Um, and so what's happened is the caskets collapsed and we're, we're flowing sand underneath the concrete piece that this thing sits on. So we've got to be very careful that we only work one or one side at a time or both sides evenly. Uh, when I first came out here we had nothing on this side showing but as I started watering you can see that this is now the dirt that was around this is just flowing down inside. And so we're going to start loading sand on this side to um, to help support this thing here as well. All this will be documented for the lot card for this site and we'll uh, this won't be a one-day process we'll have to keep up with this uh, at least once a week come over here and check on this and, and possibly add some more sand to get these things to where the uh, the sand stops flowing and the void is filled. Okay all right we've been making some progress here you can see the foot of the the grave is, uh, the sand is leveled off. I keep on pushing sand and water in. And on this side, it looks like um, we've just about reached, it's filled up. Again, over in here. Now, uh, the sand and the water has taken the place of the void, we hope, as far as the center, but it very well could be the center is still, uh, still a void. And so, what we'll do is we'll let this dry up a little bit. We'll come back and uh, put some more sand and water. I've still got a little bit left to do on this side. You can see that I'm still getting some flow down in here on this corner. Um, when you put the water in, if the water runs someplace, it's going to avoid. And when the water runs, it's taking sand with it. So um, you can see the pile we started off with is just about gone. When we get done, we'll put sand around the edges and we'll come back later in the week with a hose and a, uh, a straight stream nozzle and poke down around the sides here and see if we can't get it to settle some more. So that's an example of uh, how you can help support the bottom of a grave. Um, and again, these have probably, uh, they collapsed or they sank in a long time ago, but because of the, uh, the stone piece on top, the tabloid, we'll call it, for lack of a better name, uh, we really didn't notice it until just recently we, we saw some holes opening up. 
we'll go ahead and shut this one off we're gonna go over here to the smoot lot we have some similar pieces here and we can see that they're doing the same thing and so we'll start a whole nother tape for that all right we're done um, this is a uh, standing back and looking you can see the amount of sand um, not all of this was all the way down but a lot of it's just the edges so here we have Anna and Dora uh, Anna died in 1947 in fact on July 5th which is today we're in 2012 so from 1947 forward this thing was stable and then uh, it just started collapsing so sand is filled in around the edges and flowed underneath it same thing with this one here uh, we went to both sides and we found out the best technique was to take the hose and work the sides of it and open up the sides uh, where we had just little holes to begin with uh, opening it up made it a whole lot easier to work the sand down inside so we worked a little bit on each side and filled it in and then started opening up some more we didn't want to open up the whole thing and have it drop on us so this is an example of how you would use sand and fill in a void space in a grave sink and of course we uh, we cleaned up our mess thanks to the Austin Parks Department for providing the sand and um, that's it for this time <laughs>